Hello, welcome to Magnetron by Broderbone Software. Uh, I think it came out in 1988. Uh, let's have a look at the backstory box anyway. Uh, by Catherine Mataga. Original version by Randy Wilson and Brian Wilson. Must have been sisters. There's your backstory emergency transmission. Basically, it's telling you that uh, you've been out deep space, you've had a message off these, and uh, they're telling you that Earth's been overrun by alien bases. 50 of them. Up in the atmosphere. It's your job with your fought on fighter to gun and that lot. So you've had your, uh, your bit uh, message of the of the gadgets and uh, you can start on Magnetron Galaxies which is the actual game or you can go on the editor and make your own stuff up. But you're just going to get on that. But combat is what we want. Practice you and practice every level in the game apart from the last one. <coughs> but to just get a feel of the game, we're going on the first one. My name is Mark and that's me down there, Mark. <coughs> So if you're thinking about uh, what this game might be like, you know, that Survivor, Zone Ranger, Sinister, top-down, multi-directional, inertia-based games. Um, probably the first thing to do is press M for map. That'll give you a sort of indication, obviously, of what you're supposed to be doing. Right, you see the little top left there, you see a little pink ship. Uh, inside you can see little crosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've killed one, there's eight left, seven to eight left. There you go. Tells you there on the top right, uh, guns to kill eight. So we'll zoom down here. It's basic looking, you know, but it's a good gear. I don't know why this isn't talked about more often because uh, I don't. I'm not sure if we've got a review in Zap or what. Walls do different things. You've got walls that you shoot. Uh, they're called elastic walls, and you can just bounce off them. And I believe some enemies on later levels can only be killed. by rebounding your shots. So just for an example, press M, look at the map. That's where we are on the bottom right. If we fire straight up, fly straight up where we're going to knock that bastard up the top there. And then there's three inside. There's your fuel, them little green squares. Oh, there he is, just get out of the top and uh, press your space bar to pick it up. Picks it up straight away. You'd have to like press shield and, and wait for too long. Uh, we'll have a look at the map again, okay, that was a bit gravitational pull on there. If you remember Gravitar, that different gravity sort of pull you in, suck you out, blow you all over the place. Basically like turbulence when you've got the certain areas of the game. This is just the same but you can control that by shooting uh, some of the gravitational sort of generators I think they're called. There's two types, one that's blow you out, ones that suck you in. Uh, you can kill two of them and there's two that are indestructible, ones that blow you out and suck you in. Let's um, see where I was. Wait, it's round the corner. So I think on the first level it's just giving you bouncy walls so you didn't get killed, you know. I should have been splattered there by all right. Two left. I think they're down there, aren't they? 
车子的。Also reminds me of Red Dwarf the ship. A uh, little bit like uh, the size of it, like Morpheus as well of the ship from that. So when I've looked at different sort of level, you get a little bit of a different soundtrack to the to the next level as well. So you get launched out. And, uh, obviously, the first thing you're going to do is press M to see where the what they are. That's me in the top left. Uh, there's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's see if I'm right. Alright, 12. Guns, 12 to kill. So that's the objective of the game. You just uh, dodge about, you know, and pick your, pick your fuel up. And tap the guns out. What I'll do is, if I, if I get this one done, I'll, I'll put one of the late levels on and you see how the gravitational pull's working. Or you can shoot some of them and some of you cannot. That's what you look like when you die. So you see the guns attack different sort of looks. That, no, they're not all the same. You get little red ones, little green ones are clink to the walls. shield it's gonna attack some of the damage it away from their bullets if they hit you same old story you know so we've got two in the middle and two at the top Right, so that's the first two levels you get. You get basic look at what the the game's about. So I'll pause it now. I'll start it again, but you should not say that. And I'll stick it on. I don't know, level forty or something like that. Whatever. Okay, I've put it on the practice option. Uh, and hang on a minute. Right this time I'll put on practice and you can just scoot through all the levels. Just shut my eyes and pick one at random. Haven't got a clue what number that was. Eh, but we'll have a look. So when he comes red to off. Little fort on fight on. And we'll off. First thing we'll have days look on up. Hmm, it's a bit strange, isn't it? It feels like it's only a part of a part of a whole sort of map. But it's not, that must be the map, that's it. Uh, you can see all this bloody hell, there's friggin' millions of them. Right? Control B. Control A. She can't swap different types of control. Right, this is the one I want. Right, so let's have a look at this. We're going across to the right and um, see if it really was a load of guns to kill. Right, so we're all inside. You've got to get inside there. Can I get in through the top? Does not like it. Parts of the walls, you know, you can shoot. And uh, my my little hole for you to get through, but that's just experimenting. I didn't think there's a telltale sign where that will be. You've just got to keep shooting and open. Like you do you find a sort of secret entrance, like you've shot through.
Right, I've got night grab. Oh, there you go, and that's what I mean. Right, so it says that I top the 66 guns on this to kill. Uh, I'm just keeping on the fuel, 7,000 bloody block. I'm gonna get knee gravitational pulls up in a minute. Just press the space bar there just to do release some sort of shield. Whoa, too much of it. We'll have a look at a little different part of the, the map. Uh, let's have a look. So we see what that was, it was all it was all full of them, but that's good, the map attacks away all the ones that you shot. So if imagine you shoot all of them, where are you gonna go next? You're gonna go on uh, I don't know, I like it looks a bit uh looks a bit what a call it, doesn't it? It's gone down. Oh well, you've got the ones that cling on the walls, so you, this is where you start getting gravitational pulls. Now, see, I'm not touching anything, he's just floating up there. Should be able to shoot them. Why, oh, got us. So anyway, this is a game that I'm going to be doing a long play for. No idea what this is, but I'm sure what I'll find out in the long play. This is Magnetron Broader Bone, 1987 or 88. And uh, I think it's a good game. I'm looking forward to see what the levels are like when you the level layouts and stuff like that. Let's get killed. Right. Done. right, so if anybody's interested in this game, it's supposed to be a rare game, nobody really talks about it. I think I've only seen one review for it from a magazine, and I've never even heard of the magazine before. But that's what I'm gonna do on uh, YouTube, play through with this. Right, I'm Mark, 20th Century Gaming. And that's Magnetron. <laughs> 